Find an inanimate object in your home. Say hello to it. See how it responds. And that's about all of the charisma you'll get from Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas. He's like an old shoe, or he's like a sofa, but one that maybe your dog has slept on numerous times and accidentally pissed on. The guy has no personality. He's nasty. He cares nothing for our Constitution and hides behind the fact that he was in the military to do it. He called for the military to potentially come into this country and attack Black Lives Matter demonstrators. That's the kind of idiot we're talking about here. And clearly he's trying to run for president now um, on, on the fact that he was in the military. And he's a Harvard grad, which is terrible for you if you're a Democrat. It makes you elitist and awful. But if you're a Republican, ooh, he's a smart one. Um, here's the thing. He has the charisma of a pissed on couch. <laughs> in that Republican field, all you need is people who can get up and have a little bit of showmanship and they're going to destroy Tom Cotton. But he, Tom Cotton doesn't get that. He looks like he's running for president right now. So today he sent out a tweet that was really unbelievably stupid even for him, which is saying something. No, no other children before presidents have gotten wealthier while they're president. Only Hunter Biden. Let me first start by saying the cruelty of these people. Hunter Biden is somebody who had a drug abuse problem. Hunter Biden probably made some deals, whether it's with companies in foreign countries, uh, where his name landed in money. You know who that puts him in the same league as? Every single child of every single president. Not just presidents, people who ran for president. Like, do you think uh, Meghan McCain was on The View for her glowing insight uh, about economic policy? Um, this is just, we're a country of nepotism. It's, it's what we are. Okay. And Hunter Biden got some advantages because his name was Biden. Fine. But the fact that Republicans will send out these tweets, where's Hunter and Hunter this and Hunter that, and anytime something comes up about them, it, it's cruel, it's vicious. And we now know that Tucker Carlson was friendly with him. They lived next door and begged Hunter Biden to help get his dumb son, who's also named after some kind of appliance, like every goofy wasp, like Tucker was a Buckley or Chambers or desk, uh, Carlson. I, I, I don't know, um, to help him get into college. Uh, but of course nothing is sacred and they'd betray anybody who helped them see Donald Trump. So they go after him all the time. Now let me get about away from the cruelty for a second. Not gotten wealthier. The, the, the Kushner, Ivanka clan made something like $600 million when they in the White House. She got 30 something trademarks from China, China, which the Republicans are always saying is so evil. Kushner got bailed out by the Saudis, probably because he had an idea that MBS was going to kill a journalist, Khashoggi, and who lived in America and, oops, just forgot to say anything. Maybe even warned him about what was being said. He got bailed out by Qatar when we threatened them from his, his crappy investment in the appropriately numbered 666, I think it was Fifth Avenue, Fifth or Park. Um, doesn't matter, 666 seems right. She, terrible real estate investor, his daughter is, is a little princess idiot who gets to prance around and, and claim that she knows something about fashion. Again, because their daddy's name is Trump, back to the nepotism. They made hundreds of millions of dollars. They used the government offices to do this. She promoted products while she was on the government payroll. Illegal. What are we going to do about that? I don't know, Merrick. What are we going to do? And as we know, Kushner had people investing uh, with the minute he left the White House, all of these foreign investors, Saudi Arabia and places like that, invested in this fund of his, even though nobody believes in it. And private emails have come out where investors who have a clue were warning anybody with any money not to go anywhere near it. But Hunter Biden. So again, Tom Cotton is doing, uh, well, it's a good example to show you that they will have, they've got that just like they had Benghazi and now it's the border or it's inflation or gas. They've always got an answer when the numerous scandals come up about them because they are corrupt, they are incompetent, they are evil, they are stupid. They've run this country into the ground. They've embraced Vladimir Putin, who is a mass murderer. Uh, and I could name a hundred other things. Man, members of this party went on January 6th, their lead gubernatorial candidate in Michigan has been arrested for being involved in it. Their one in Pennsylvania, maybe next, he was there. Their, their attorney general in, in uh uh, in South Dakota, ran somebody over, claimed he thought he was a deer, left him there to die, and, and in the end didn't get any federal charges and barely was impeached by enough Republicans just for killing a man. And 
there's a lot of suspicion he was drunk at the time because he was on the way back from an event. And I can go on and the criminality is everywhere at this party. So uh, this is this is Tom Cotton. He'll keep going after Hunter Biden when, you know, the, the pox on Hunter Biden's house went all around him. He, he's basically surrounded by gonorrhea. Thank you.